Well, Middlesbrough have one game left to rescue the season, but really it's out of their hands. Um, to use a sporting analogy, Borough needs snookers, and they need quite a few of them actually. Um, first of all, they've got to win the match. It's up to it's up to Gareth Southgate's man to give themselves a fighting chance of getting out of it, and they have to do that by winning at West Ham and really winning well, given the goal difference that they need to overhaul it with their whole city. It is, of course, feasible that the whole city could get thumped by Manchester United, who will have been stung this week by suggestions that they'll play a weakened side against them and perhaps just throwing the towel. I wouldn't have thought that would happen, although, of course, Manchester United a couple of seasons ago were beaten on the last day by West Ham United, of all people, Middlesbrough's opponents on Sunday. Um, team news-wise, of course, well, we all know that Stuart Downing now will play another further part in the season. And he'd be lucky if he's fully fit for the start of next season. There could be some huge ramifications from that, as has been discussed earlier this week uh, in the news pages of the Evening Gazette. Um, namely, the money that Borough were going to use from the sale of uh, Stuart Downing to strengthen the team over the summer. And that would be regardless of whether they went down or stayed up. They would hope to get between £12 and £14 million pound for the England winger. And... And that money could be used, if invested wisely, to strengthen in two or three positions, maybe even as many as four positions where Borough have been weak this season, most notably midfield, uh, central midfield and the right-hand side of the pitch. That won't happen now by the looks of it, and um, Downing is probably only coming back to fitness by the middle of August, which might make him available for Borough's campaign, whether it's in the Championship or in the Premier League, um, but it would make it very difficult for him to win a move to a, a, a big Premier League club in the meantime. Borough... Um, of course, would be welcome um, Downing on the pitch next season, regardless of which division they're in. But of course, that money will now have to be raised somewhere else if they are going to strengthen significantly. Uh, but that's a thought for another day, perhaps, because we really need to think about the match at Upton Park. Um, Southgate will have a few options. He'll probably stick with Emnes up front after he looked bright in the last couple of matches. He's got the option of King, of course, who was a bit of a battering ram type of player. Johnson will come in on the left, you would have thought, for Downing. And then he's got one or two other players. I know Ali Diaz is struggling, so he might try one or two options in that position as well. But um, it's really one of those games where Burr have just got to go throw everything at West Ham. They don't want to leave anything in the dressing room. They don't want to come off the pitch thinking, well, if only we tried this or only we tried that. They've got to give 2,000% if such a thing is possible. And really give it to those. And, and whatever happens, show those loyal fans who have paid extortionate prices to watch the match at Upton Park, or indeed the fans watching back here on Teesside, that they really care about keeping the club in the division. If the other teams get the results, there's nothing Borough can do about it. They've just got to keep the fingers crossed and make sure that um, one or two teams do them a favour. So it's all to play for, but it's really out of their hands and all they can do is win the match and uh, hope for results elsewhere to go their way.